Good morning, how are you today? I am feeling slightly better this morning. If you watched yesterday, you would have seen I had a little bit of a wobble last night about some stuff, but I'm all right now. Apart from the fact I'm gonna start off on a little bit of a rant this morning. I've had a few issues with the next couple of things that we're doing. For some reason, our hotel in Hong Kong has canceled on us. Don't know why, so I've just spent the last half an hour trying to book another one. We're due there in about five days. So I've just booked another hotel in Hong Kong. And also our train that we were supposed to take tomorrow morning at like 11 o'clock, we had an email off um, the company saying that it is no that train is no longer stopping at our stop. So anyway, that's finally been sorted that we now have to though get a train tonight at one o'clock in the morning. So we were supposed to be staying here one more night and then leaving tomorrow morning, but now we've got to go at one o'clock this morning on a train, which meant that we would arrive in our next place, Zhangjiajie, Zhang, I don't know how you say it, Zhangjiajie, we would arrive a day earlier. So I've had to contact that hotel to get an extra night with them and rearrange our transfers from the train station and everything. It's just been a bit of a stress, but I think it's finally all sorted. I think what I'm going to do today is just pack, get organised and everything and then we're going to go out a little bit later on. I have just nipped out, I've just been to the shop to get um, a few bits. Stephen is definitely in the mindset today that he doesn't want to do anything. He think he's, I don't know, because we like had a, quite a few days in Beijing being busy. He's now kind of been like... Can't bother doing anything at all any day, but it's our last day today, so we're definitely going to go out and do something. But he's just at the moment <laughs> determined that he wants to sit in the hotel room all day. Not having that, I think we were going to. What I wanted to do was go to the Wild Goose Pagoda and then go to this firework, not firework, um, like fountain thing in one of the squares near to that. So I've just looked at times. And the fountain thing doesn't start till nine, and we're not going to be able to make that with the whole change of um, of train. I'm back at the hotel with the whole oh, with the whole change of train time. I don't think. Well, no, we're not going to be able to make make that and um, and catch a train as well. So you hiding? Yeah. <laughs> Right, do you want these noodles? Yeah. Noodles! We have finally made it out. I'm not even going to tell you what time of day it is. The sun is... It's half five. I you. told you. It's half five. We're just having a little wander around the, um, the Muslim quarter and I think we're going to head over to the Great Mosque, which I think is just round here somewhere. You've been lazy, haven't you, today? No, couldn't be bothered going anywhere, could you not? No, no, we wasn't going anywhere. But anyway, we're out now for the last little few hours before we have to head. They're so noisy, these people. <laughs> we're out now for the last little few hours before we have to head to the train station. We just, we just walked past this man. I didn't say anything until we went, did you see him? I was like, yeah, saw him. <laughs> He said the scene went, he was holding his pants up. He, honestly, he just stood there with his, like, his pants halfway down. I was like, I saw his willy a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. He was just standing there with his pants half down. I'm not sure whether I'm repeating myself or not because I can't remember what I've said on the vlog and what I've said to Stephen. <laughs> we are just, we've just turned, we're trying to find the Great Mosque, which is around here somewhere. I feel like I have said this, have I said, oh, I don't know, just, we're trying to find the Great Mosque. We found the Great Mosque, we're just inside. Eerie. 
has with places. I don't know. It's just so cool. No idea. It's so quiet compared to like the hustle and bustle just out there with like the Muslim quarter where it's just chaos. It's just so eerily silent in here. I think it's a looks like a grave. Like this, it's like a I have no idea. I'm a bit freaked out being here to be honest. It's, got, it's just got a really weird atmosphere. <laughs> Prayer hall is there, but we're not allowed in. You're only allowed in the prayer hall if you're a Muslim, and we're not, so we're not allowed in. We've done the Great Mosque. We're just heading back through the market. Oh, smell the incense, Stephen. Stephen, you smell it. Incense smells amazing. Smell it. We are contemplating a fish pedicure thing, but honestly, I you want to do it? So you want us to do it, but like I'm really like freaked out about my feet and people touch anything touching my feet. I got dead ticklish feet and I just hate it. I don't really think that I can cope with fish nibbling at my feet. You want to do it? Should we go? And, should we do it down there at the? Yeah. I honestly don't think I can. Like if, if anybody touches my feet, I just have a massive like spaz attack. I can't cope with it. I'm not sitting next to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, oh god! Wait a sec. You give it a try. Why do I want to do that? Why do I want fish to be near my feet? I don't, I don't really. Okay, that's the end of the quiet little market bit. We're now back out into the madness that is the, like the food stand and everything which way it is that way okay. I was going the wrong way as usual my sense of direction is terrible normally if I think it's left it's always right <laughs> a few of these before we buy some. We tasted a load of them, we decided on one. It's so nice. That's how they make it. That dude there, that guy there, he like pulls them out and like the dough and stuff and wraps it around and whatever. Mm. I've got a bit stuck in my teeth though. So nice though. train station I think we're just gonna go and just get organized back at the hotel we're all packed up down here and ready to go it is 20 to 9 and we've just got to go head over on the metro and get to the train station for our train a bit of a pain that we're having to do this to be honest with the whole thing of the change of the trains but to be honest, I probably prefer to do it this way than what we did have booked because we have booked like the 10 o'clock train tomorrow morning and seeing as we're not waking up very well at the moment maybe we're better to go later on at night you ready to go? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, come on then, let's go. Grab your bags. I'm not looking forward to picking up these bags. I hate it. I like, literally dread having to get pregnant carry these bags. Oh. The metro is not far though, so that's good. Goodbye. Look at the wall on lit up. I'm just in the queue collecting the tickets to see what is sitting down there, watching all the bags behind. Got our tickets. We're quite early. Our train is until 1.07 in the morning. Because the metro closes at 11, I think, we got here a little bit early. So we're just sitting outside. Stephen's having a little play on his phone. Just outside waiting for our train waiting room to be called or come up on the screens up there. I've, um, I've got a little bit of an obsession about how they sit. You know, I was talking the day about squatting with the heels on the floor. I've been practicing today in the hotel room. And just as I'm sitting here, everyone's doing it around me. There's that man there. There's that man there. There's this lady right in front of me. That man there. Basically, they can all sit like that. And I really want to be able to. I mean, like I said, we're super practicing in the hotel room. We can't do it. But we're going to practice every day. You are. I'm going to practice every day. Some man that works here has just come up to us and told us to come inside. I don't really know why we have to come inside, but we're going to our waiting room, waiting room one. We are. It was quite helpful actually because we didn't really know what waiting room to go to. So he told us where to go. Although well, I don't know where waiting room. Oh, here, waiting room area. Here. It is ten past twelve. And we've got one tired little thing here. It's typical, isn't it, that he has not been going to bed until like. 1, 2 o'clock in the morning when we've been in the hotel but then as soon as we're out and need to be awake he's shattered, tired out on ya he just wanted to fall asleep not long now and then on the train he goes to sleep it's a good job he's tired because his bed going to be particularly comfortable <laughs> I'm going to end it here on today's vlog because we're still just waiting for the train. I'm going to start tomorrow's vlog kind of as we're getting on the train. Good for today, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.